Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to install the AuthMe plugin onto your Nitrato server. Playing on one of our servers is a lot of fun, and when you get to play with your friends it's a great time too, but sometimes if you have a public server, you want to have extra protection. Even if you're dressed like a superhero, you might need some extra security to actually protect your server. And that's where the AuthMe plugin comes in, and today we're going over how to install it. How to install the AuthMe plugin. First things first, we need the AuthMe plugin, so either check the description or Google up the AuthMe Reloaded plugin. Then you're gonna click the Download Now button, and in the new page that pops up, you're gonna click under Assets and click the AuthMe box. Then you're gonna head to your server, and of course you're going to need to stop your server with the red stop button. And once the pop-up appears, you wanna double down on that red stop button. Then after just a few seconds, you will be able to go into the left-hand side where you see the file browser underneath the tools. Go ahead and select that. From here, you're gonna go Minecraft Bucket and then Plugins. It's essentially like going in your folder on your desktop. Speaking of your desktop, go ahead and grab your download from wherever you have the AuthMe plugin saved and add it in with the Upload File section. After just a few seconds, you will see that it is uploaded. In the folder of AuthMe, you can always change some of the settings with the config.yml. However, to get things started, you definitely want to restart your server first before you alter any extra settings so that everything is good to go. How to use the AuthMe plugin. The most basic use of this plugin is simply whenever you join your game, it'll consistently hound you to authorize yourself. So all you have to do is slash register and then make up some sort of password as if you were logging into some online thing, which essentially is what you're doing here. So slash register, then your password two times, and then you're good to go. There are also a ton of other commands that come with this, which are helpful for the server owner. So I definitely recommend that you get yourself familiarized with it. And slash off me help is a great way to go. Conclusion. Like I said, there is plenty to look at with this plugin, and so I definitely recommend you check it out and see if it's a good fit for your server. If you happen to like this tutorial, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell, so that way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time! Huh. Huh.